Okay, let's see how Malaya is, guys. <gasps> Malaya? Where is she? Malaya. <gasps> Where is she? Malaya! <gasps> Malaya? Guys, Malaya's not here. Is she in the cage? She's not in the cage. She's not on the perch. Out there covered my couch. Guys, where is she? Malaya! Maybe we should call Ate Elsie. Okay. Oh my god. Malaya. Guys, Malaya's gone. Damn these smells, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe we should call Ate Elsie. I heard something. Yeah, you know. Hey! Malaya. Look who's up there! Malaya! It's me! Remember? Yes! Oh, she's bigger! Guys, I think she's bigger. This is actually past her bedtime, so she's probably sleepy and groggy. She's so quiet. I'm not used to her being this quiet. Hi, Malaya! It's me! It's me! Yes! I'm back! Come, come. Oh my god. It was three nights, right? It was three nights, yeah, but I mean, she develops so fast in like a day, so she's practically kind of like an adult bird now. Hi, Malaya. You remember me? She's stretching. She's tired. You remember me, right? I know what you want. She will want this. She will want this. Yes. Malaya! Oh my god, I'm sweating. Malaya! Look what I got! You want? Or maybe she's like too old for this now. Maybe she doesn't like eating from this anymore. Malaya, I'm gonna feed you up here. You want? No. Yes, okay. There you go. Mmm. See? Yes. You remember me? Can you come on my hand? Can you come on my hand? Yes. Oh, wow. Guys, her face looks a little different. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but her face looks more like an adult bird. Like her beak got longer. Wow, she really looks like a true bird. Okay, go on the perch. On the perch. She's sleepy. I can tell. Here, Malaya. Yes, here. Yes. You're still a little, you're still a little baby at heart. Oh my goodness guys, it looks like Malaya's become really acquainted with my place. She knows how to climb the stairs now. Malaya, come on. Look at her. She's so cute. What? You're hungry, huh? So Malaya, this is my ant room. My ant room. As long as you don't fly into there, I think you'll be okay. Anyways, she's, she won't be allowed in here. I just want to show her around my place. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. So today is a massive, important day. You know why? Because Sir Kuya Kim Achenza will be coming here. Yes, Kuya Kim. As you might have seen in our previous vlog, Kuya Kim Achenza and his family, like his kids, and his entire team from Matang Lawin, his TV show, will be here to feature my aunts. And so I'm up early. Ate's here, RJ's here. We're like fixing everything because I don't know if you guys saw the vlog of when I visited Kuya Kimachenza's home. Wow, blew my mind. And try, I'm so shy. Like my place is nothing compared to his. I, I have to, I, well, I'm gonna clean up. And Malaya here is following me around everywhere I go. I've missed you, you know. I've really missed you. Yes. All right, heading downstairs. Stay here on your perch. Yes. See, I love that she's using her beak and picking at the wood. And she just jumped right on top of the camera. <laughs> Back on the perch. Go. It helps keep her beak nice and trimmed. Yes. Now when she's older, she'll be a nice black color. And there'll be 
a big tuft of feathers right here, like right where the beak starts there. They'll pop up there. It's really cool. That's why they're called a crested mina. They have like this little tuft of feathers right above the nose. Guys, look at her hunting instincts kicking in. See? She's like snooping through everything, trying to look for insects to eat. You mighty hunter, Malaya. She's gonna check the pillows. And these birds tend to do this. They hunt on the ground. When they're adults, they will snoop through anything they can find for insects to eat. They do a lot of walking for flying birds. Malaya is so curious. Look at her, searching for food. Yes. Isn't it amazing, hunting instinct? It's just unreal. I didn't teach her this. She just naturally knew how to do it. And I don't know if you see this, but what she does is she'll stick her beak into a hole and then she'll open her mouth to make the hole bigger so that she can snoop at what's inside so they can see and find bugs. You won't be finding any bugs there. Apparently they also eat um, like house geckos, the buteke, when they're older. So maybe she'll start hunting buteke at my place, the house geckos. She's so curious at this age, now that she's a lot more mobile and independent. Checking out every little thing, learning quickly too. Alright guys, so now we're eating lunch. And we have a special guest here today before Kuya Kim. Can you guess who it is? Da -da -da -da! Yes, Hi, Tita Antoinette! Boy, boy. <laughs> yes, remember her from California? We stayed at her place and she's here in Philippines. When did you arrive? Sunday night. Oh, wow. So she's been here for a few days now. Are you jet lagged po? No more. No more? Wow, yeah, so fast. So cool. Of course, we have Pinoy food for lunch. It's binalot. So that's like banana leaves, tapa, bangos, rice, Torta. tortang talong, and bulalo. Yeah. And kangkong. Mm -hmm. Mabuhay squad, look, Tita Antoinette brought pasalubong and she says I like it. Let's see. What? I wonder what she got. <gasps> oh, oh, coffee. All right. Thank you, Tita. I love this. I, I can put it in my coffee maker. Yes, every morning. Oh, and it's espresso. Italian. Wow, legit. This is legit. <gasps> oh my gosh, my favorite candies. Both of them. Oh my gosh, my boy squad, I love these candies. Mine too, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, we can share these later. And mm. only in US. Oh, Stevia, yes, thank you. I can never find Stevia here in Philippines. You guys know Stevia, it's like a natural sweetener, but it's... Two extra small t-shirts. Ooh, thank you. Sure. Yay. Salamat, tita. Thank mm. you. Mwah. Love this. I love pasalubong. If you're Filipino, I know you guys love pasalubong. It's of the course. best. <laughs> pasalubong means like gifts you bring from another country in. All right, my Buhay squad. ABS-CBN is here. They're in the lobby. They're making their way up. My place. How do I look? Am I ready for TV? Hmm? Of course, I'm wearing my Aunt Canada shirt. Why? Because the special of Matang Lawin, the show of Sir Koyake Machenza, is featuring my lovely aunts. Yes. So the ants are now camera ready. I'm camera ready. My place is camera ready. Let's do this, my boy squad. They're here. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Come, come, come in. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hello. All right. So the crew is here. Hello, po. Ooh, nice camera. Hello. Welcome. Hello. But uh, Kim Achenza will be coming later. The team is here to set up first. Yes. Okay, guys. Meet the crew from Matang Lawin. What are your names? Marsha. Sunny. Sunny. I'm Mel. Mel. Dong. Orly. Lisa. Ernie. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, welcome to my place. And guys, check this out. It's an Ant-Man suit. I get to wear this. Isn't that funny? Wow. Can I keep it? <laughs> I'm gonna show them upstairs where the ants are. This here is the ant room. 
I love watching them react to the ants. <laughs> okay. How many ants do you have? <laughs> oh, siguro um, maybe close to one million na. Dito lang. Pero isa isa pang million don. Uh, isa pang million dito. <laughs> Ito this is uh, bago pa bata pa itong colony. So maybe like 300 or 400. So for these tapings, the crew comes ahead of time so that they can plan the shots. They can plan where they're setting up the camera cameras, where they're going to shoot, you know, the interview portion, how they're going to set up the segment. This gentleman here is the segment producer, and so he's the one who has to plan the flow of how this entire segment of the TV show will play out on screen. Wow, look at this! It's the Ant-Man helmet! Oh my goodness. They rented this, guys, so I can't keep it. <laughs> Ant-Man happens to be my favorite Marvel superhero for obvious reasons. But no, I really love the movie. Wow, nice camera setup. <gasps> Macro bayan. Oh yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna be filming my ants eating later. <laughs> so apparently I gotta change the shirt because the lights are making it too bright. So I'm going to wear this one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wear this green one. Okay guys, we just finished recording the interview portion and now we're doing a segment with Malaya. <gasps> Malaya! Come on, it's time for your close-up. I have food for you. All right, Malaya, you're on camera right now. Why are you picking at my ear? Ooh, Malaya. See you guys, filming <laughs> behind the scenes. Malaya, I can't wait for you to meet Kuya Kim. <gasps> he is the most famous animal guy here in the Philippines. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. You love him. And now she's sitting down. So tame. Look at that. All right. So now the team is taking shots of her, like really nice artsy shots of her. And Malaya's perfect. She's just sitting down. She's a natural. <laughs> she even adjusts her angle properly. Guys, I am so proud of her right now. Look at her just sitting there right in front of the camera. And she is. <laughs> Malaya is stealing the show. <laughs> the show's supposed to be about my ants. And she's completely stealing the show right now. She's showing off. Yes. Malaya knows. Malaya knows. That's so funny. And she's standing on one leg right now, looking directly into camera. I did not teach her this, my boy squad. This is just it's amazing me. This bird. I wonder if this bird can be a working bird. Like, if ever a movie or something needs a bird, we can train Malaya to do things on command. Look at how natural she is. She's not even looking at the camera. She's like looking off at something in the distance while the camera is shooting her. And she's standing on one leg. This is hilarious. Wow. I'm a proud stage dad. Proud stage bird dad. Okay, now we're gonna be filming the ants um, and the ants eating. That always makes great entertainment. I have here the cockroach farm and then we're going to place a cockroach inside this terrarium. Yes! Boy squad. The ants are eating on cue. See guys, I love this colony because they're very um, entertaining to watch. Now this team is filming on two cameras. Oh, three cameras. <laughs> All right, guys, I get to wear the suit now. Woohoo! Wow, I can't wait to wear this. Oh. We're figuring out all the parts. This suit has a lot of parts. Oh, okay. Man, I would, this is what I should be for Halloween. <laughs> guys, check out the gear. <sighs> awesome. That's really great. That's some cosplay right there. All right. Malaya is so friendly with everybody. I'm happy about this. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Are you ready? Malaya is trying to pick his mole.
right, guys, we just finished the taping, and thank you guys for coming again. Yes, she's checking out the queen ant. I gave her the queen ant that we found in Tagaytay. Yes, so as you saw from our previous vlog, this is Eliana. There's Sir Kuya Kim. Yes, and Ganden. And of course, we have Eman. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for coming. And it's an honor to have you guys here, really, at my place. Feel free to drop by anytime you want to see ants. <laughs> or Malaya. Biting my ear. <laughs> Malaya really likes you guys. <laughs> so, Koya Kim's leaving. Thank you. Peace out. Thanks again. It was an honor, really. This is. so much so much, and they're going to be here quite often, I hope. Yay! They're welcome anytime. Yes. All right, guys. And now the kids are leaving. We kind of hung out after the shoot, and we're talking about ants. Yes. Thank you, Iman, for taking good care of Malaya. Yes. We're going to have a carpenter ant colony. Let's hope, guys, that this carpenter queen has some babies. Mm -hmm. All right, and best of luck to you kids. Thank Study you. hard, good luck in school. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Malaya, you were so good today. And you know what, I discovered that she loves the air conditioning. She just stands right there and like gathers some cold breeze. But she still loves it more on my shoulder, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were so good today. You were so good. Mm -hmm. So guys, that's it. The taping's done. So I'm sure they're going to upload this episode of Matanglawin online. And if they do, I'll be sure to include the link somewhere in this video. Maybe in the description box or as a comment. Ah, oh, but this is great. Isn't Kuya Kim and his kids great? They're just good energy, right? Good people. And I love that the kids are so interested in science and in ants. They really are passionate about insects. It's just fantastic to see in young people. They remind me of me as a kid. I see myself in them. Not defenseless Guys, weaklings. she's watching and my, my Ants Canada video. <laughs> so guys, we are going to look for dinner, but there is a massive, and I mean massive, rainstorm in Manila right now. The thunder sounds very angry. <laughs> and look at that lightning! Do you see that, my boy squad? The lightning is crazy! So, it rains every night at this time of the year in Manila, but storms like this, this aggressive, um, are not typical. It usually lasts maybe like 20 minutes. But this one has been going strong for like an hour now. It's a very big storm. Whoa! See that? Wow! The lightning, it's scary. Guys, if you've never been to the Philippines or a tropical country during a storm, it's no joke. <laughs> Tropical storms are really, really crazy. They're serious. Good day, my boy squad. You know what? Today is kind of a sad day because, well, tomorrow we're gonna be leaving again. We're going to New York City um, to be part of a Filipino festival there in New York. And We'll be gone for five days, which means we won't see Malaya for five whole days. So I'm just doing my best to spend some quality time with her today um, while editing some vlogs. Really gonna miss her again. Gosh, we just got back. <laughs> I'm here editing videos and Malaya is just sitting peacefully on my wrist as I edit. <laughs> She's so funny. All right, my Buhay squad. So, because I'm leaving tomorrow, I wanted to fit in a special bird school class with Malaya here. Okay, so she can fly, she can eat on her own, she knows her name, so like she comes when we call Malaya. Now the only thing missing is her approach to water. <laughs> 
These birds love to bathe, like they love to get wet. And in fact, in their cage, they need a bird bath because minas love to bathe in them. Now, we can't let Malaya be free, Malaya, um, out there if she's afraid of water. Like, what happens if it rains? She should be able to manage dealing with water. And she also needs to be able to drink on her own, which she doesn't yet. She gets most of her water from the insects she eats and from the baby food that she eats when we feed using the syringe. So we tried getting her wet one time um, and it kind of ruffled her up a little bit. She got kind of nervous. Let's see if it works this time. I am going to shower with Malaya. Okay, Malaya, you ready? You ready to do this? Brown? Ah! What are you doing? Ow! And why are you showering with your hat and shades on? Are you and Malaya gonna have a bird bath? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I am just soaping. Wait, I'm almost done. Oh. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. I'm done, I'm done. I'm going. Anyways, okay. let's do this, my boy's quiet. Okay, Malaya, this here is a human Rain cloud. This is where we take showers and you're gonna take a shower with me. And yes, I'm using a ring light to light it. So we both need showers. Mm-hmm. We both smell. And stop picking at my moles. Malaya's looking at the water. She's like, what is that? Here we go, my boy squad. One, two, three. Here we go, Malaya. 